Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, please don't forget to click that bell and turn on your post notifications so you can notified of any future videos. All right, you guys. So I'm super excited for today's video because it's been a while. I am always super duper busy, you guys. And honestly, I don't want to just put videos out there where it's just like rushing and all that so i literally am always super duper busy i have to go somewhere i'm on a time crunch like literally okay so since today i was done with everything and the kids are fed they're done dom's in the shower i'm like you know what let me do something for myself so this is what i'm going to do for myself i'm going to film a video for myself for you guys because i enjoy it so I remembered I have this bag of goodies, which I have yet to use. So from what I remember, this is from the Sephora sale and then maybe a couple purchases after, like individual things that I bought. So they've all been in this little drawer in this bag and I haven't touched it since the Sephora sale, you guys. Yeah. So we're going to see what's in there, but I guess I'll probably do a full face depending on what's in here. Um, some things I probably used, some things I probably didn't, meaning like the packaging is here, but the product is somewhere in my stash. <laughs> Alright, so this right here, we have a lip liner, a brow pencil, we have some Say, which shout out to Say because they always love my videos. And you guys, I absolutely love their product here. This one is the Glowy Super Gel Dewy Illuminating Fluid, and if you guys don't have this, you need this because it is so amazing i have the little baby one and because i love it and use it so much as you can see um i purchased the big mama okay so that is what we have right there we have a soft pop pumping blush veil by makeup by mario Ooh. okay uh i forgot about this stuff oh love the morphe brow pencil you guys this micro brow pencil um and chocolate mousse it's so good i love it and it's affordable because you guys buying the anastasia and all the other ones benefit they're so expensive i do like to splurge on them once in a while but i try to grab it when they're on sale and you know when those sales come they just pick them up and they just you know i have to get them but in the meantime before you know since they're not on sale i get morphe and even if they're not they're on sale i still love the morphe the nyx any drugstore as long as they're dark you know for enough for my brows then they're good um we also have this right here this is the ultra suede cozy lip cream by makeup um by mario in the shade miss mauve i love me a mauve lip love a mauve lip uh, oh house labs and let me tell you you guys this was a struggle i went three times to find my right shade it is hard to shade match yourself it is so difficult so i have mine in the shade 220 light medium warm i don't know it just i don't know it, it just wasn't working for me in the beginning but now it works so i'm hoping that it, it matches me pretty good right now um I don't have really that much of a tan, not really any, because it's the weather's just been not right out here. It's a it's already the end of June, well mid end of June, and it's still like the weather's horrible. Like we're we're not getting any barely any sun. Like this weather's just insane. Um, ooh, this one is so good. I haven't tried this yet. This is the positive. What is this? The positive light liquid luminizer in by rare from Rare Beauty in Mesmerize. I loved it when i saw it i was like i love pink on my skin like i think it looks it complements my skin so well because of my undertone and oh this one right here i got that one the liquid and i also got the positive light silky touch highlighter because they go together like you need these two together all right um what else did i get oh this right here this is the Patrick Ta for face precision sculpting brush. How do you say that? Precision, 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 right? I think that sounds right. Precision brush, sculpting brush. And this is in the shade, uh, I mean, the brush for contour three. So I saw this when it first came out and you guys, I still haven't used it. And I was just so obsessed when I saw this brush that I needed to get it and still haven't used it. 
Um, oh, I have Barely Pink by Mary, uh, Makeup by Mario. This is the Moisture Glow Pumping Lip Color. Still haven't used this. And then we have, ooh, the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush Nearly Mauve by Rare Beauty as well, which I haven't tried. And I love me a cream blush. Love, love, love. Ooh, we have this right here from Glow-ish by Huda Beauty. It's Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in the shade number two medium so we have a good amount of stuff in here i'm not going and then we have an empty whatever this is cool pink moisture glow pumping lip color which i used the other day and i thought i lost but it's here and this right here you guys pinks are my favorite they're always my go-to i feel like pinks and mauves are just my favorite so so good you need to try this so so good okay so we're gonna try what we have here and then include whatever I need that I may be missing. So I already moisturized my skin. So I'm not gonna use primer. I'm just gonna go in with, I'm not gonna open the new one. I'm gonna go in with the one I currently am using. I'm gonna use this one, uh, you know, before I open the bigger one. But just so you know, they're so good. And again, say, love this. This is so good. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to grab it like that, and I love to hit it on the high points, okay? This is where I like the glow. I am uh, dry slash oily, so combo, but, you know, I'll go like that. I'm itchy here. And then I'll put some on the Cupid spell with whatever, on the bridge of the nose with whatever's left, as you can see, some of the tip, the lip, I definitely go in on the brow bone like that to give a little bit of a glow, a hit right there. Look, it is so beautiful. I have the windows open, by the way. I apologize, but it is nice out. I want to feel a nice breeze, air out the room. But this is just so pretty, you guys. You guys need this, like 100% need this. So... We're gonna go in now with the foundation from House Labs. I have not used this foundation, you guys. I don't know what it looks like, what it feels like, or any of that stuff. So we're going to find out together. If you have used it and you like it, let me know down below. If you've used it and don't like it, let me know down below what kind of skin, you know, what's your skin type and all that stuff. But this is what the bottle looks like, you guys. This is pretty. Look at this bottle. Wow, it's heavy. Like she definitely put some money towards the packaging all right so it comes in a pump so cap cap off comes in a pump you see I have not used it so I'm going to apply it on to my hand so that's two and like and a half pumps because it did squirt a little bit out so we have that here and it is a little runny as you can see I feel like it's not even my skin color to be honest with you that does not feel like it matches. But we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH03 brush. And I'm just gonna dab the brush in here. And then I'm just gonna go on the skin, on the face, and see how that works out. And mm, what do we think? What do we think? It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I feel like it doesn't, it's not that bad. I feel like it's pretty close to my skin tone. It definitely colored the red underneath my nose. It's not bad. It actually looks pretty good. I'm not mad at this. And this is giving me like very light coverage, maybe even with the two and a half pumps. So. I'm gonna go in with like one more full pump and I'm just gonna dab it in the areas that I want more coverage, I guess. Which is like all areas I just did, pretty much. Um, and it's not bad. I think it looks good. I'm not mad at it. Very lightweight. nose I mean I can always go in with more like concealer 
I don't want to go in with, you know, more foundation. But it, it does feel really good um, on the skin. And my skin looks pretty flawless, actually. It looks very, very nice. And it's good even coverage, I feel like. Don't worry, guys. We're going to bronze up and everything. I'm going to go with concealer. But I just have to say that it looks pretty good. I'm going to get the ears in there. Down the neck. It looks a little pale, right? That's okay. It's okay. It's all right. We're going to fix it. Don't you worry. We're going to fix it because we got bronzer, concealer, blush, all that. It's going to come together. It's going to come together. So Tom just texted me and he's like, you know, he's working right now. That's why I'm also filming because I have the time. Um, and like I said, I finished everything. So I was like, you know, thinking since it's such a beautiful day, pretty much. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty good night where there's like no, you know, breeze, like too much breeze. It's going to be a perfect night. Okay. Um, I wanted to take a walk, but I didn't mention it to him, but it's so funny. Like he just texted me family walk and I'm just like. Hell yeah, like, let's do it. So kids are pretty much done with school and, you know, why not take a walk? It doesn't matter. Let's go do the family thing. I love doing family walks or just walks me and him. It's just like my favorite thing. So that's what we're going to do. And I guess I'll have my makeup and test it out as I'm walking later on tonight. So let's get this together and finish it off. Um, this is the Huda Beauty. I didn't purchase any new concealers, so I'm going to use the Huda Beauty. Okay, this one is really good. It's actually one of my favorites. And blush in here. But the foundation looks really nice. It's like very skin-like. I don't even know what type of foundation this is supposed to be. A clean, cutting-edge, longwear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. Infused with 20 skincare ingredients, buildable medium coverage, luminous second skin, uh, skin finish ultra fluid weightless formula. So yeah, I definitely see like the nice glowiness to the foundation. So I love that. I love like a nice glowy foundation. So I'm feeling it. We have this sponge right here. I'm gonna spray it. Actually, I'm not gonna spray it with that. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of this Morphe continuous setting mist. Just a little bit. It's gonna blend out the concealer. You see this concealer? It looks so good with the foundation. It really does. I also like to go on my eyelid and just pretty much have like a nice even canvas as you can see. Look at this. And look at this. Look at this. It looks so good. And this concealer is also a luminous matte so i feel like this one and this foundation just go really well together just looking at it now because they're pretty much very similar I can't do super matte or dry on my under eye because they'll look super crusty and that's just not a look for me so i feel like these pair really nicely what this looks so good okay Let's continue. I'm gonna grab this right here. This is the Makeup Forever little palette thing here. And I'm just gonna grab a brush and I'm gonna do a little cream bronzing. Yeah, because I don't have anything like new that I got. So I'm just gonna mix a couple colors. I'm gonna go with like a little bronzing here. And this is just pretty much gonna bring more color back into the face as you can see. I love this brush. Brushes like this are the best because you literally just go in and just shape your face like that. It is so good. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in and do a little bit. Of, you know what? Hold on. Now I can go in with this brush right here. This is the Patrick Ta. What is this? For contour number three. And boop. so we got this side here and then we have this side here which is like the super precise so I'm gonna grab that side and ready mm. 
love, beautiful, perfection. <sighs> I'm in love. I'm literally in love with this brush. So good. What? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm going to go in with this side. I'm just going to blend her. Blend that nice and seamless. This is like a beautiful brush. You know what? I'm going to look into more of his brushes. I really want to get the Mario brush. But like $30, guys. $30? Things are so expensive. I don't need more makeup, but I did place an order for a new Too Faced concealer i have this one in the shade warm beige but i got it in like the one shade or two shades lighter um because i feel like that one's just too too close to my skin so i want something a little bit brighter but yo you guys makeup is pricey 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 and i also got a new um setting powder because i'm running out so yeah let me go back in with my foundation brush so I'm just going to marry everything together so it doesn't look harsh. But you guys, look at the skin. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm obsessed. As you can see, I'm having very a lot of fun, much, much fun, filming today's video. Because it's been a while and it just makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. Um, this is a bronzing powder, so we're going to be using this as well in a minute. So the question is, are we using these or are we using, oh my God, do we want, I'm, you know what, Rare Beauty Makeup by Mario, Makeup by Mario, I'm not even going to front, I want to use this one, Makeup by Mario, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Rare Beauty products, but this Makeup by Mario blush, I'm all about the pink, and mmm, so pretty like this is so beautiful i cannot like not use this so we're gonna go with this one this little tulipy brush mm. a swivel in there Ooh. doesn't smell like anything i like to go in on the back of my hand first Ooh. she kind of light i'm not gonna lie let's go in directly from the like this to the face and i feel like i get more pigment like that so i'm not gonna dab it some usually what i do is i'll grab the product pat it on the back of my hand so it doesn't look so harsh but this right here is like very forgiving um and it's okay to go directly from the product to the skin as you can see because then you get more color payoff if you dab it, then you lose the color. Um, but this looks so pretty. This is very, is this like the skin enhancer? This is a blush veil, that's why, that explains it. So it's gonna be a lot more natural and light and more, like I said, forgiving on the skin. So this is, this would be really nice on mature skin. Like his brand is so beautiful. So that reminds me very much of his Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. That's what this reminds me of because it's very like, not sheer, but like, very like forgiving. It's light, It's it just looks so good. This is what happens. This is, this, this is what happens when you have the windows open and you're trying to film a video. You guys, that water is just so good. Mm. All right, so this is the blush. It looks so pretty. And you guys like the skin? What? Like, mm. We're just healthy, glowing. Mm. Very comfortable. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. So, mm. I'm going to go on with powders. <gasps> This right here, you guys, I hope it's not broken. Oh, thank God it's not broken. Because I have the other one right here. And this one came broken. And so did the original one that I bought. And they resent me a new one. And this is the new one. And I was like, whatever. You know what? It is what it is. 
I'm just gonna keep it and not even complain about it. I'm just whatever. It is what it is. I, I won't even go through it, so it, it, I don't even know whatever. But the other one was like into pieces. I there was no way I was gonna use it. So I'm happy that this one is not broken, but it's so beautiful. Oh my, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that glowy highlighter. Oh, that's so beautiful. It's highlighting my hand right there. I love that. All right, so we're gonna go in with this, but after. So this is the Rare Beauty Mesmerized Liquid Highlighter. I need to see what she looks like because oh, it's so pretty. Oh. That's the liquid. That's the powder. Like, oh, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go in with a little powder. A little powder. I've been using the Laura Mercier. Um, I usually go in with the Huda. But I'm giving the Laura Mercier a little love lately. I have the mini. It's been sitting in my drawer. So I was like, you know what? Let me grab it and use it. So I'm actually putting it on a cap and grabbing this powder puff. I like to go like this. Okay, make sure there's even layer. And then I'm just going to go on my under eye and set that baby into place gorgeous and you guys my makeup has just lately has been on another level i mean it was good before but now it's just like my makeup i'm just like wow i always get compliments on my makeup also they ask me if i'm a makeup artist and blah 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 and i'm like unfortunately no i'm not but i would love to and i don't know like i kind of want to pursue it because i enjoy it but at the same time like i don't know I'm scared to, I guess. Um, I don't know. Maybe one day. There's still plenty of time. I still got a long life to go. So maybe one day I'll be like, hey, I'm a makeup artist. Who knows? But I am going in right here with a little bit of powder to set my forehead because I do get oily there as well. Um, I am going to apply a little bit here. My chin even amount. And then here on the chin, make sure here. I like to leave the nose a little glowy. That's why I applied the say on the tip. So that's that. But there you go. And as you can see, I still, you know, the brow is giving a little glow as well. Now I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to go in with this. This is the Glowish by Huda Beauty Soft Radiance. I've don't think I've ever tried anything from Glowish. By the way, this is in the shade medium to medium. Direction: swirl a bronzer brush into the powder and sweep across the face to add warmth for the sun-kissed and healthy glow. So, I mean, let's add more glow, you know? That's what this look is, you know, all about. Oh, it's cute. It's a little mini one. How cute. How pretty. She's so cool. It's, I love it. So I'm going to grab this angled brush right here. I'm going to swoop my brush. All right. So it doesn't look super heavy, but oh, it does have a little baked glow. Mmm. Look at that. Compared to this side, look at this side. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, yes. This is pretty for summer. Absolutely pretty. This is a perfect shade for my summer tan. I'm going to put some here on the sides of the nose to set that cream in place. A little bit on the tip of the nose. I'm going to do underneath the chin. It doesn't smell like anything, so... All these products don't have any scent, the ones that I've tried so far. In case you guys have like any issues with scents or have allergies or whatever, which I am sensitive as of the past year or two. Um, so yeah, but this is really pretty. I'm also going to go in with this and grab, pinch the brush and apply it to the eye just like that. 
that's been my little tricky trick so a quick eye look just dab and go add a little blush to the lid as well and i'm out with a little inner corner highlight so this is perfect so i'm actually going to try the liquid highlighter so this is the rare beauty and this one is again in the shade mesmerize the liquid illuminizer i'm going to add just a little dab a little dab that's a little dab that's probably even too much grab the other side of the sponge and i'm just gonna dab it like that on the high points so it doesn't disturb the product you see dab it dab it and dab Ooh, that's pretty all right so now we're definitely gonna top it off right here we're gonna top her off with this this is the shade um mesmerized but the powder form so we're gonna grab her with a little bit here oh she's so beautiful it's such a beautiful beautiful highlight gorgeous top her off and have her show off show off girl show off love a little bit on the tippy tap Boom. With a little white mustache going. All right, all right. I'm going to add a little bit on the tip, on the cor inner corner of the eye real quick while I'm at it since I have her open. Ugh, I just love an inner corner pop. Okay, boom. Mm, 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 mm. Love, love, love. You guys, I didn't put any blush on besides the cream. I didn't set it with like anything. <laughs> What is wrong with me? So I'm gonna go in with the one size. This blush is absolutely beautiful. It's so pretty. If you guys haven't tried it, you guys definitely need to try her. This is such a beautiful pink blush. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the middle brush, uh, blush because the top is a cream. Bottom is like a beautiful Barbie-like topper. Ugh. But the matte pink blush is just beautiful. So we're just gonna... Mm, mm, mm. On top of that highlight, what? It makes it pop even more, as you can see. What? Mm, mm, mm. Love, love, love. I love makeup, you guys. It just makes me so happy. So innocent. Doesn't hurt anybody. And it just, it makes me happy. I feel like a little girl playing with makeup. Okay. And we're going to apply a little bit here. Boom. Boom. Blush done done with the blush maybe i should do my brows so i'm going to show you the brow pencil that i like to use this is the morphe brow pencil in the shade cold brew so i go between cold brew and chocolate mousse so either one i'll use actually i like to brush them down first and then fill in the little gaps i can actually get in there better if i brush it down let me go brush it back up. I don't try to make my brows thicker or whatever. I just try to go with its natural shape. See, nothing crazy. Just want to fill them in a little bit. Make them feel a little put together. It's so much easier to do this side for my brows just because, you know, I'm a righty. So it comes... A lot easier but sometimes I'm not gonna lie it, I do get carried away on my left brow because it is so much easier and I'm just like okay I can actually do it a lot better but yeah so yeah I gotta remember brows are cousins not sisters and they will never ever be the same but you guys like my brows look pretty damn good right now so I'm not even gonna complain about it they're looking good they're in place and all that so um usually i'll go in with like a little concealer just to clean them up a little bit but honestly i'm not going to um this is something you need as well for your brows this is the gots to be i get these off amazon they're so good and i have two but they're both literally like almost out because i you know i go back and forth with them but these will literally make your brows stay 
in place and they will not budge. And shout out to you, Gats to be well wait wait wait. Not Gats to be Schwartzkov. Because you guys are always loving my videos also, my reels. Like you guys are true supporters. I love that you guys show me love as well. Say NYX. I love NYX products as well. Um so yeah, like I love all these products. These products are makeup by Mario has shown me love on on Instagram and um the other one. Damn. The other one. What's the other one? TikTok, yeah. Sorry. All right. So yeah, love those people that show me some love. I really do appreciate it because it just shows that you guys are watching, which is nice. Um so yeah, we are going to continue with now lip liner which i only have one and this is the anastasia lip liner in warm taupe because everybody was raving about this oh this is a really pretty brown this is perfect i feel like this one can go with a lot of colors it's not super harsh it's like super like Perfect nude. It complements. Very nice. It's soft. Very nice. And even with this look right here, like it's it's beautiful. It's nice. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. All right. So for lips, I have these are both from Makeup by Mario. I have Miss Mauve. Okay. And then I have this one, which I've already used before. This one is almost bare. So I'm going to swatch both of them. So this one is almost bare. And these are a suede type lip products. And this is Miss Mauve. Very close in color, you guys. These are both definitely up my alley. But I had to get them both. So almost bare and Miss Mauve. More pinky, more mauve, as you can see. And this one's more nude, but... They still both, you know, look good with this makeup look. But I feel like Miss Mauve could look better. But because of the brown, I am going to be going in with um, almost a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go in with Miss Mauve because I want to. <gasps> no! I have the other one. This one, barely pink. What is this? <gasps> okay. Let's see this. So this one's... It says it's barely pink, but honestly, it looks brown. Let's swatch her. Barely pink is definitely not it. I'm going to show you the difference. So this is the new one that I haven't used, and this is the one I have used. This one's cool pink. This one's definitely a lot pinkier. And they are the pink one, since I've tried it, is so pretty and comfortable. So this is the one that I didn't use, which is barely pink, and it doesn't look really pink at all. Maybe a hint of pink. And this one's the mauve right the cool pink I don't know. but they're both really pretty um but you know what i think i'm gonna go in with the suede miss mauve it is i'm gonna go in with miss mauve the applicator is really nice i forgot how nice it is it literally glides on the lip perfectly you see how it's like really like not super bright but it's like the perfect pinky nude mauve color and it just it looks so good and it goes real pairs really well with the lip liner as you can see so i don't want to do any um lashes because you guys i was having issues with my lashes and i have to say that this product right here this is the Grande Lash MD, okay? This right here, this right here, you guys, has been a complete life saver for me. My lashes right here, I had like a big gap where my lashes were missing. I had a big gap here where my lashes were missing and a little bit over here. And I've been using this for like a month almost, maybe a little bit less. And my lashes are starting to grow back in. I haven't applied like any fake lashes or anything. Um, I've been doing just like mascara on the lower lashes, but because of today's video, I will go in and curl them real quick. Um, this is the, what is this? This is a, um, Shiseido curling wand, little curling thing. And I'm just going to curl them just for today's video. 
look i'm like like you have no idea i have lashes right there now it is so crazy like you could still see some missing right there but oh my god it has made a huge huge difference i'm like so wowed by that product that product was definitely a lifesaver because you guys having no, missing lashes you guys is not cool i was just like oh my god i'm bold i have no lashes i'm gonna go in with my rare beauty mascara okay we're gonna add a little mascara not too much all right you guys and that is it oh my god <laughs> look at this makeup it looks so good i'm gonna set but honestly, it doesn't even need to be set because it's just, it doesn't feel powdery. It doesn't feel, it feels very, very comfortable. All of this, just everything that I've used today, like, it's, mm, you need these products. Like, these products that I used in today's video, you guys need. If you guys are pretty much the same skin, you know, combo, like dry, oily combo skin, you guys might have to get some of these products because they're very, very forgiving, very comfortable, very, you know, they don't emphasize any texture or, or anything. Like they're mm, 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 so good. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and today's makeup, you know, full face of testing out these products. And let me know down below if you did. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.